by John McCarthy on 1958 or the short form is AI and what is artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is a software that can perform tasks normally but require human intelligence and artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelli intelligence processes by machine software especially computer systems uh, the specific application AI include expert, expert at system, natural language, processing, speech recognition, and machine vision. It is to learn and understand human activities. Uh, AI with example is the ability of computer or machine to act like human being, design a, design a system that can do tasks and may have human intelligence, Video games, smart vacuum cleaner, smart water proofier, and driving vehicle some of the most common application in AI. It is also provide operating system with step by step instruction for executing a certain activities. Okay, effect in uh, 4IR for the uh, artificial intelligence, it is improve their chances of achieving their goals could expand the number and types of pro procedures that can be accomplished and most industrial or industrial economies as well as many developing markets have an impact on the workforce personal and social characteristics influence how people are influenced okay and AI application across the diverse range of market its affect health produce better and faster diagnose than people business uncover information to have a self in to have the better serve customers and in education additional supports to student and tutors in finance it provide financial advice and for law is to identify and accept information from documents for easier uh, easier for them to search more and manufacturing is collaborate with human and take responsibility more for more of the part of the job and banking improve the and reduce cost of banking regulations compliance in transportation it's managed to is it is to manage traffic, predict flights, flights, delays, and make ocean shipping more efficient. Okay, to begin, I will share and explain more details about IR for technology, which is robotic engineering and autonomous. I'll start with my first point, what is robotic? Referring to my point of view, robotic is an automatic device that performs functions normally ascribed to humans or a machine in the form of human. In other words, robots are actually programmable machines that build to assist humans or mimic human actions. One of the examples of robot engineering that I'll explain to you is autonomous. An autonomous robot is a robot that acts without recourse to human control or they rely on their own brain. Improvements in technology makes an autonomous high demand in factory industry. As example, industrial robot arms that work on assembly lines inside factories. Okay, I want to share with you guys in a daily life which we send our car to automatic car wash, there's actually a few steps that controlled by the machine that have been fully programmed as a touchless wash that relies on high pressure water jets and strong detergents to blast the dirt off of the car. You can find in few places in Subang Jaya and few in Kuala Lumpur. Instead of demanding robotic engineering nowadays, they have pro and cons that will affect us in all aspects. Obviously, the first benefit is to improve the quality of life by freeing workers from dirty, boring, dangerous, and heavy labor. Besides, it will help to reduce the cost of the manufactured goods. For the disadvantages, in the other way, the robotic engineering technology will cause an unemployment by replacing human workers. In addition, it will cost a lot of money to make or buy a robot as 
they are very expensive as it needs maintenance to keep it running. So today's presentation is to develop an understanding of adaptive in robotic engineering technology. We have to live in both current robotic demands and human power supply. Thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is my name is Muhammad Ahtarafiq bin Muhammad Zahid. Uh, my ID student is two zero two one two nine three two two three two. I want to explain about uh, unmanned aerial vehicle. What is an unmanned aerial vehicle? Unmanned aerial vehicle, uh, known uh, known as a drone, which is a small unmanned aircraft uh, that can be programmed for flight purpose. Uh, UAV is uh, a remote control uh, aircraft which that uh, which that can com can communicate via using radio and GPS. Also, uh, UAV is uh, is uh, the one of the platform that have now promised a method of obtain imagery quickly in the field. There are two types UAV in in Malaysia. First is fixed wing and multi second is multi rotor this is a fixed wing and this is a multi rotor uh, so uh, there are so many uh, benefit uh, using drone in the industry so, uh, first one is uh, in media journalism and film uh, drone can help get uh, image that probably difficult to obtain uh, also, drone is uh, in a small small size, light, portable, and easy to carry. And uh, uh, drone are uh, uh, also easy to operate, uh, and also easy to operate. So next one is a uh, second one is a uh, in algae culture. Uh, drone can uh, process uh, of fertilization, pesticide, and watering. Uh, also, to drone can uh, monitor fire, locate victims drifting in the sea and river or float in disaster. And third one is uh, in the business. Uh, drone can uh, deliver service for for the, for uh, for the light transportation. Uh, and drone uh, can explore exploration weather in water, gas, and oil and minerals. Also, uh, drone can propose on documentation such as uh, incident report and construction report. And and the last one is uh, in enforcement. We can use uh, drone on uh, investigation at crime scene. Also, uh, drone can help uh, authority authorize this track down criminals. And the last one. Uh, uh, we can use drone to make monitoring from the sky to track down criminals too. Okay, thank you. What is big data? Big data is related it's a data uh, with it's <laughs> cloud uh, storage in our daily use. Uh, <laughs> it stores um, information of other people. The use of big data is very necessary to manage Organize and store all information in the form of data in a systematic manner. Usually, big companies are using big data to store a large capacity of storage information that are related to the company itself. You can say also big data is a concept uh, about the ability to able to collect data to others and analyze and store in large capacity so if you familiar with the storage drive uh, such as uh, pen drive or this or so whatever hard disk or SSD or nowadays when processing data the size of data is very important because the volume required a very large so let's uh, give an example of big data usage. The first one is internet usage. Internet usage, sorry. Nowadays, almost everyone in this world is connected to the internet every day. 
we use in our phone especially we use google such as google you look uh, facebook you storage your files in the drive google drive cloud and of course it stores somewhere that's big data storage we use smartphone just like the internet uh, the use of smartphone is also now almost to everyone everyone uh, has uh, the smartphone and smartphone itself stores uh, data such as uh, SMS MMS or the apps that we use like uh, WhatsApp WeChat and other storage uh, other, another storage of image and another usage of uh, big data we use uh, social media social media has become an inseparable part of daily human activities various photos or videos uploaded to social media every day are part of the data then we have uh, smart devices household appliances such as smart TV smart fridge and even smart cars have uh, have the concept of smart appliance it is this concept that brings all all other equipments at home connected to each other such as uh, our smartphone we can control them from our smartphone we can look uh, CCTV from them we can control the electronic itself so all the data from the smart devices that you have such a power consumption use temperature at home to be collected by the manufacturer to be able to improve its services and will offer the latest technology to you we use media digitization before the the use of uh, dvds and cds we use cassette before the internet we use cds TV, uh, lcds and listen to music but nowadays we have streaming apps like uh, like Netflix, Spotify, then you can access watching movies and listening to music in your smart device. And of course, Netflix and Spotify can log what you listen to and watch so they can have the data to use to improve their services. So it turns out that big data can be combined with system and as well as the intelligent technology devices such as IoT and AI. Its job is to be able to provide as well as store data and information that product your developers need. Storing data using big data can reduce the cost that need to be incurred by the company. It saves lots of the time to run and manage is also faster with data transfers above the average of other database system and big data is also able to improve performance to support software development. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saya Aiman Shazwan bin Razali, nombor metrik 2021-645492. So today, uh, I want to explain about machine to machine. Machine to machine is a direct communication between device using any communication channel, including wire and wireless. Machine to machine communication can include industrial instrument enabling a sensor or meter to communicate the information it records, such as temperature, inventory, level, or anything that can measure. Two applications that can use it, for example, adjusting an industrial process based on temperature or placing order to replenish inventory. Such communication was originally accomplished 
by having a remote network of mission relay information back to a central hub for analysis which would then be rerouted into a system like a personal computer. More recent mission-to-mission -mission communication has changed into a system of network that transmit data to personal appli appliance. The expansion of IP network around the world has made mission-to-mission -mission communication quicker and easier while using less power. This network also allow new business opportunities for consumers and suppliers. Mission-to-mission -mission device that combine telephony and computing that first com concept conceptualized by Theodore Paraskevakos while working on his caller ID system in 1968, later patent in the US in 1973. The system, similar but distinct from the panel call indicator of the 1920s and automatic number identification of the 1940s, which communicates telephone numbers to machines, was the pre predecessor that what is now caller ID, which communicate number to people. After several, after several attempts and experiments, he realized that in order for the telephone to be able to read the caller telephone number, it must possess intelligence. So he developed the method in which the caller's numbers is transmitted to the call receiver device. His, his portable his portable transmitter and receiver were reduced were reduced to practice in 1971 in a Boeing facilities in Huntsville, Alabama, representing the world's first working prototypes of caller identification device. They were installed at People's Telephone Company in Leesburg, Leesburg Alabama, and in Athens, Greece. Were they were <coughs> where they were demonstrate to several telephone companies with great success. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Ahmad Syar bin Ahmad Sani. My metric number is two zero two one four four eight zero seven eight. I will be talking about industrial revolution in this slide. Okay, as we all know, this fourth industrial revolution recognized as uh, 4IR and we often say it as 4IR uh, in industrial revolution where we aim to use less manpower uh, in future future world but we still use the manpower in maintaining robots in installing software and programs doing some artificial intelligence uh, first ARPANET adopted TCP IP uh, internet protocols for uh, the use of internet where res researchers made a study about how to connect network to networks January in 1st January 1983 the internet of things is very important in our daily life where we have to use it to access Facebook to access Twitter to access our mails to take exams in your future so internet of things uh, in agriculture we use uh, many types of machines we use drones we use probabilistic sensor to detect the soil condition if um to know if the soil needs some uh, enhancement needs some water needs some weeding process well with this with this internet of things we can use our mobile phones to model from our homes so we don't have to really go to our uh, agriculture field we don't have to really go to the construction site we can use drones to monitor the public surveillance to know the um, the quality of the people that walk that go out since this pandemic covid 19 is easier to use unmanned aerial vehicle which is called drones to monitor the movement of the public internet of things is really useful because we need it to access our mails like big data cloud 
storage like we transfer Wistia and every sort of um, file transfer so in using drones for making movies we need this internet to upload our videos to our YouTube after it completion this use of new technology internet of things we aim to live a um, uh, productive life where we can harvest crops two to three to four times faster using this technology of fertigation irrigation in agriculture we also aim to use less manpower where we can just monitor it from homes from our homes we do just spend our time to go and just standing there doing nothing by having this internet of things we really need this internet of things to program the augmented reality the artificial intelligence to plan automated path for drones we use internet to access big data and cloud storage we use internet for all kind of stuff like internet tv um, automated drone path our making industry we use internet to program the automated you know robotic hands for fitting frames in a car in car industry and for dairy products in dairy factories we program the softwares for the milk to be added to the machine and from the machine to be boiled and from the from the boiling machine to the distributing machine where the factories then pack the milk and before distributing they check the quality of the milk as well as in you know paper printing in like Metro, Brita Haria and Sinar so this machine was programmed by using internet of things internet is very crucial in daily life so from this uh, a blank paper they will send the paper into this printing machine the news that we read every day the printing machine and from the printing machine distribute to the heating machine the heating machine is where they heat the ink so the ink will remain you know so from the heating machine they will go to the cutting machine to really allocate the size of the paper before it distributed to the folding machine so when it comes to the folding machine the paper then was folded and distributed conclusion this internet of things will help youth to grow up being the youth of uh, technology wise because they know how to use technology they know how to apply technology they know where to find it where to locate it on what purpose and for what maybe for assignments maybe for every everything they need in their life so for me thank you assalamualaikum